Okay, so, so today I'm going to be telling you how to fix your bed leveling on your Solval SVO4 3D printer uh, with a simple G-code command. So, as you might know, when you're doing the normal leveling that uh, Solval tells you to, um, it will go through uh, the leveling, and you go through aux leveling, stuff like that, and then it'll use the CR Touch, the automatic bed leveling probe sensor thing, to do the middle of the bed with the auto homing and then it'll go to 16 points around the bed here 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 like four on each thing right um and there's like four rows or columns uh four columns four rows so it'll go all the all over the bed right um probing to see the height and that will help the actual 3D printer to know where to position the nozzle um, so you can have a like a good first layer. And um, so in order that for this to work, you actually need to go through with the Solvo leveling. Um, do as the instructions say, like the Z line, the gantry line the aux leveling do all that stuff and it's it, and if it's still not working for you but you or you want some more consistency on actually how um like uh, you want more consistency on like you want your first layer to succeed more um no matter like how long ago you did your leveling go up to preferences go to configure solval so up here preferences click configure solve vault's the only option go to s printers and then you can do this for every mode or just one mode that you use the most often but i'm gonna go for just the normal single mode go to machine settings then you'll see printer settings okay go to start g code this is the g code or the commands that your printer runs every time it starts up okay so or not every time it starts up every time it's about to start a print so first thing it's going to do when it's starting a print is get to the to the temperature okay and it's gonna probe and stuff like that right now you don't really have to worry about this side right this side is it doing the prime line the prime line, I don't think, is actually part of the print. I think, uh, I don't think it's part of like the Kira, um, print thing. It's part of the company or whoever sets up the first, um, thing. So this is all your starting G code, okay? So yours is gonna look different. It's gonna look like this, right? But you're you're gonna want to add two lines to this so this is whenever i think these are g code commands to wait until your bed is up to temperature and your nozzle is up to temperature this is important because your bed can warp and deform uh not deform but it can go different shapes and stuff whenever it's not fully heated up so these are the g codes i'm pretty sure to make sure that it's the right temperature right and I added these two G code commands, G28 and G29. And uh, I think these are comments to say what it's doing. But basically, G28 homes your bed. So what that does, I'm going to close this temporarily to show you what it does. Basically, that takes your nozzle from wherever it's parked, homes it, right? Makes it go to the middle and then probe the middle. I'm going to get rid of that. Probe the middle right and so it gets the middle position of the bed right so it's like if you were to probe an ender but your ender obviously doesn't do that with the probing and then the g29 is automatic leveling okay so remember in your bed leveling process where it had to probe 16 points on the bed um to make sure all the values were correct so it could adjust properly. Now, with these settings, it's going to do that every time you print to make sure that nothing changed and to make sure 
that you have a good first layer every time. This makes the consistency of your prints go from like zero because a lot of people have consistency problems on their Sovol SVO4. They'll print one day and it'll be just fine, but they'll print the next day and they'll have to re-level their bed or it won't work or it'll be too close or it'll be too far and you'll have to make adjustments, right? But this way, it it does that automatic thing every single time. It takes like a minute and a half. It's not even that long. Um, but one thing to note here, it does take a little bit longer too. But one thing to note here is that you need to place it exactly where I placed it. Or else it might do that prime line of filament, right? It might extrude that bit of filament that you see before every print. And then it'll do the automatic leveling. And from my understanding, that prime line is there to get the filament flowing out of your hot end correctly before you actually start the print. So that your filament comes out smoothly and doesn't not come out um, when you're actually starting your print where it actually matters for your filament to come out. So it would be kind of detrimental for you to go into homing while like straight after your prime line. You want to go straight into your print after your prime line so your filament would be flowing correctly. Um, so make sure you place this right after the M109 command right here. Just to make sure everything's up to temperature whenever you're doing that. So, I hope this helps anyone who's watching this video who's having trouble with their Solvol. Um, I know this command was already running on my uh, Ender 3 Pro whenever I uh, installed the BL Touch. It was just kind of, well, I think I added it, but it was just, it kind of helps it a lot to like probe every time you uh, print an object because it just helps with consistency and it helps to make sure your first layer is actually good.